do you literally have to get me doing everything I do? This video is not even about making coffee. Although, making coffee. There's nothing even going on here. Stop filming. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I got a couple of things going on. All right, let me, let me call you back. Come on, dude. Let me use the bathroom. I'm starting the vlog. Guys, welcome to another episode of TLG Vlogs. If you haven't seen our last vlog yet, please, please, please tune in. It was my first year in real estate. It was a complete hit. A lot of people loved it, but I was actually a little nervous about making this vlog just simply because it's a, such a profound title, right? Like how to make $100,000 in your first year in real estate. And I have to start by saying this, results may vary. My first year in real estate to your first year in real estate from you know what you saw the last vlog, going from 2016 to 2017, um, it, it's, it's different for everybody involved, right? But um, this is a vlog, it's gonna be natural. I wanna make sure that all the content I give you guys is, is good. So if you see me looking back and forth in the screen behind me, it's just so I hit, have actually hit a couple key points that I wanna share with you guys today. But um, you know, this isn't about actually making $100,000 in real estate. This could be about making $50,000 in real estate. This could be about making $500,000 in real estate. This could be about making a million dollars in real estate. Everyone has their own goals, but I used $100,000 in real estate because it's an economical goal for most people, right? So uh, first and foremost, guys, let's get started. Guys, this is a people's business. The more people you get in front of, the more business you're gonna do, right? But it's not even about how many people you get in front of, it's about how much you could stay in front of those people, right? So if you watch my last vlog, I talked about the three attributes, organization being one, and certainly this topic above all falls under that hub. And I, I firmly believe right now for you know almost a decade, we're experiencing something which will leverage as tech right? Where you could be a real estate agent starting ground zero today and you have the ability to stay in front of so many people utilizing social media as your constant news feed, your constant branding tool to stay in front of your referrals, your customers, your soon to be customers, whatever it may be. But the biggest mistake I made, which I, I want to press and press and press that you do not make is you need a system in place. You need a CRM. You need something where you're staying organized from day one with all the interactions you're having with people. You meet somebody at the gym, you think they're going to buy in six years, have them in your CRM. You meet somebody at an open house, they're ready to buy tomorrow. Have them in your CRM because the biggest mistake new agents make is they cherry pick, right? They work with who's ready to buy and who's ready to sell tomorrow. And in this business, there's such a long nurturing period that staying on top of people is the name of the game, right? It's, it's just, I can't talk about it any further more than to say that just this business is just about how organized you are. Tip two for you guys is, is reverse engineering, right? When I made the shift in, in 2016 going to 2017, I made a decision. I knew exactly where I wanted to go. So I want you guys to work backwards, right? So let's start with a, a really just simple way to do this. Know your market, right? So if your average median price point in your market's $500,000 and you're looking to sell $10 million worth of real estate, you need to sell approximately 20 homes a year. So step by step, let's figure out how to do this. So step one, if you are getting a listing, what's the average turnaround time in your market for that listing to sell? Is it three months? Is it six months? Is it two months? Is it one week? How many listings do I need to sell this year to make to that 20 homes? So if your business is broken up, 70% uh, listings, 30% buyers, or maybe right now you're brand new and it's you know 80% buyers and 20% listings, how are we gonna get to that 20% mark? And, and, and if I do get those listings, how long do they take to sell? And then secondly, buyers, right? If you're meeting a buyer for the first time, in, in your formula, in your matrix, in your market, how long is it taking for that person to actually make a decision to buy? Is it one week? Is it two weeks? Is it three months? And how many buyers do I need to work with today for me to sell 20 homes? Guys, tip number three, procuring business, right? How are you getting out there every single day, every single week, every single minute for you to find new ways of getting business. And if you're in real estate, everyone knows the name of the game is listings, right? So I'm gonna give the big mystery, new agents, I, I constantly get emails, 
text messages, phone calls about, you know, how are you getting these listings? How, and this is the big mystery, right? There's, there's four ways for you guys to get listings. Way number one is you become the local expert. How do you become the local expert? Are you doing everyday direct mail in, in, in your market? Are you in a local shop, right? Are you attending local events? Are you part of, you know, community gatherings, uh, you know, football teams, baseball teams, whatever it is? Are you, do you currently have listings in that market that you could leverage? You become the name in that market. That's number one. But if you're starting today, I could understand why that concept would be really difficult, right? Because becoming that local expert just takes a lot of time. But the, the key to it, to time, is starting today, right? Doing somewhat of effort every single day, every single week to get to that point. Because once you get to that point, you're going to be that guy or that girl in the market that they call to. Number two, referrals. So referrals don't have to be somebody that's even a past client. A referral could simply be a friend or, or family member or somebody complete as a stranger on social media that reaches out to you because they see the content that you're pushing out and the, how you're branding yourself every single day. So meaning, you know, your, your mom has a friend that wants to buy real estate, great, that's a referral. You see somebody, you know, uh, your friend on Facebook out of the 5,000 friends is like, this guy is posting every day, use him, that's a referral. So that's way number two. Way number three, the one that nobody likes doing but the conversation is so simple. Guys, for sale by owners, right? It's The information is completely free. It's consumers putting their listings on the market through Zillow, through Realtor.com, through Trulia, advertising their personal phone numbers for you to call and introduce yourself. So let me tell you how basically we do it. This could be an entire vlog in itself, but literally when I got started, I used to sit there for hours calling people and introducing myself. So the conversation could be as extensive or inextensive as you guys want, but here, here's the pitch, right? Hey, is this Bobby? Yes, hey, Bobby, I see you have a 123 Main Street up for sale. This is Taylor Lusick with Christie's International Real Estate. Do you have one minute to talk about your house? And that conversation can go one of two ways, right? They could be completely frustrated because they don't want to hire a real estate agent, or they could be completely open to talking to you. But here's the key. You don't know that until you call that person. So you get on the phone with them, you introduce yourself, you want to mail them some literature on your brokerage, some literature on yourself, but basically, uh, presenting to them a solution if they can't sell the property themselves that you're the guy or you're the girl to call it, it, in the event they can't do it themselves because you are the local expert. Number four, guys, expired listings. Listings expire every single day on the market for so many reasons. For timing, the agent didn't do a good job, the photography wasn't good, pricing, whatever it may be. Once again, free information. Somebody's listing was out there. There are motivated people that are looking to sell their listing and for whatever reason it didn't sell. So you're picking up the phone, you're calling that person, you're introducing yourself, and you're basically asking for their business. Are they willing to hire another real estate professional to sell their house? Guys, those are the four secrets of getting listings. And I, and I think if you're brand new in the business, you might not wanna hear that. You might wanna think that there's some secret formulas or secret sauce out there, but that's it. That's how I built my entire business on getting listings. Off procuring business, you have buyers, right? When, if you're just getting started, probably you know your first year, your first day in real estate, you probably haven't had the opportunity to reap the benefits of referrals on the listing side yet, or maybe you're not confident enough to go on listings as yet, but definitely don't not go on listings. But if you're you know starting off, your, your meat of your business is gonna be buyers. So I can't stress enough, my holy grail in the really beginning was working open houses every Saturday and Sunday. And I worked at a really small office, but I'm telling you, I used to call every top agent in my office every single week on Wednesday, like like clockwork. Hey, is there any open houses I could do this Saturday? Is there any open houses I could do this Sunday? And it wasn't even, well, number one, it was to learn the business, but more importantly was to meet new people. And you know, back to topic one, which we initially, initially talked about, was it's a people's business. The more people you can be in front of, really, the more success you're gonna see. And you know, when I would meet these buyers, right, I would just utilize the free resources I had. Texts and emails are completely free. Staying on top of these people, helping them make a decision uh, to, you know, to, to buy. Um, internet leads, right? We can get into that. That's a whole vlog in itself, but some people uh, utilize different, whether it's social media, whether it's realtor.com, whether it's Zillow, whether there's, there's so many sources out there today for you to basically gather data. At the end of the day, this is all data. How are you gathering people's information that are looking to buy or sell, right? And, and that falls into buyer leads. And, and, and guys, really just lastly, uh, you know, referrals, right? You know, back to the whole social media pressing upon you, how important it is to continuously post, not be like that annoying realtor on Instagram or Facebook, but really just showing people that you're the person to call when they're ready to buy.
Finally, guys, you need to be in it. You have to be completely passionate about this business. If you're not passionate about doing this, people are gonna really feel that, right? Uh, consumers know the difference between somebody that's in this thing part-time, that's only doing it on the weekends, to somebody that's giving it their all six, seven days a week, and, and they're that, that full-time realtor, right? And I, I can't stress that enough. You know, you have to be passionate about this. You have to have a desire to wanna be number one. You really wanna you know, grow and expand your business. You have to love, ultimately, what you do. And I, ha I have this theory, right? Like my team will constantly have our uh, Monday and Friday meetings. We're always talking about ways to brand ourselves and break into new markets and stuff like that. And my theory is that um, we never only take one angle. If we're going to do something, we're going to do it big and we're going to do it right. So we won't do one thing, we'll do 10 things. If you're going to do something, aim to be number one in, in everything that you do because people freaking know the difference, right? And I can't possibly break down how to be so successful in real estate in under 10 minutes, but I, I hope that the principles that I'm providing to you guys, the stuff that I'm providing you guys, that you take it home, you apply this stuff, but please don't hesitate, email me, text me. If you thought the content I gave today was valuable, um, it's free content, there's no benefit for me, for you watching this video. All I ask is share, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're gonna give you guys continuous um, good content where you know you could apply, teach others, show others, and really just you know grow as an individual. But uh, once again, guys, thank you so, so, so much for tuning into another episode of TLG Vlogs, and I can't wait to see you in week seven. Thanks, guys, bye.